your jungle. So, what's it like being a student? Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> um, in what sense? Like, is it, does it live up to your expectation when you were younger? I mean, I think everyone's like always really excited to go to university, but then it's like, that's where it ends. Like, it's fun, and then it's like not as fun as you think it will be. Yeah, I think there's a lot. Like, I didn't expect. You know, I wouldn't. I didn't think I'd be thinking about money and like what. Oh, guys, I messed up. I didn't want to say that. Yeah, you end up stressing about a lot, a lot of things that I just didn't expect to be stressing about, like money or, you know, um, balancing my time between studying and like social time. Um, you just kind of think like, oh, I'm going to uni, like that's it. You don't yeah. think of, like, <laughs> like everything. Different things, things that, that, that go along, along with it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I suppose it's right. No, 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 I take it back. Like, I really did quite like UD for my, like, my first year. Then after that, I was just like, eh, just going through the motion. Trust me. I wasn't really excited to go to school when I finished high school at all, to go to college. Like, really? Yeah. No, because I mean, after, up, up until high school, everything's kind of already outlined for you. Mm -hmm. Like, when you leave to go to college, uni, I mean, it's your decisions at that point, you know? You have to figure out what you want to do from that point. If you don't have a plan, it can be kind of scary, you know? Truth. That's so true. <laughs> That's true, because like time kind of seeks up on, on you like in university when you're like, like when you're in high school or like six or college, you're like, I got time. You know, I got uni before I got to like step into the real world and then you get to uni and it's like, yeah. where need, did yeah, the time go? You need a backup plan, like yeah. if you don't make it, like would it, what are you gonna do either? Which Try again next year. Huh? Which did you prefer, high school or university? University. Um, I, I think the, high the, school. The, For me personally, high school. I loved high school. I mean, I mean it's yeah. not it's not like I was a really popular person, but it's just it it was just a great environment. Sure. I mean, in college, everybody has their own agendas, you know, like. Um, yeah. I don't know you have lunch break, you know, in high school. Everybody gets <laughs> lunch together. Break, but, yeah. You know, everybody's you know time to socialize and stuff. Yeah. In college, I mean, you get a break. It might not even be the same break as your friend, you know. So, mm. yeah, it's just mm -hmm. a little different, I guess. And did you find it hard making friends? Um, I didn't find it too difficult to make friends when I when I went out to uni, but it was. Strictly just because of the simple fact that most people that are going out to uni are new to the environment anyway. So at the beginning of the year, everybody's looking to kind of connect with somebody, you know. So I don't think it would be too difficult. It's just as long as you are a little bit more open yeah. to, you know, meeting somebody brand new. But I suppose going to University of America and England is quite different. different. So different. Yeah. I haven't I been to the university out here, so... Yeah, but I even seeing my really friends, see. like exactly. it just seems like in America it's easier for you to make friends. Like, you know, you stay in what your door, like the whole even accommodation thing is different. Is it? I guess, but on the flip side, you, though. You have to, like, in America, it's around like, you all the time, basically. In, in America. Yeah. It's, like, it's kind of like that it's like as well. Like, it's kind of like that as well with, like, um, what are they called? Where we lived in our what, first year. Um, halls? Yes, halls. <laughs> Why did that slip my mind? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like halls. And like England kind of tries with like freshers' fairs and mm -hmm. things like that, that and like different societies that you can get involved in. Mm -hmm. Whereas I feel like in England it's more of an option to be sociable, whereas in America there's no choice. No, yeah, there. yeah. Because <laughs> most, most first year, as a first year, most people. At least my friends, you can't, you know, you have the choice of getting your own room. Mm. There it's, you have it's like you know. so you automatically make a friend, you know, yeah. the second you get there. Yeah, they match you up quite well. You have to like, say your care, it's uh, like, it's like room dating. I, you know? I, it's I, like, I they like, if you're like a vegetarian or like certain habits, they like pair you with someone who's like that. I know quite a few examples where um, when you're just thrown in a room with somebody that you don't know, it doesn't turn out to be too well. I mean, <laughs> me and... Um, when me and Izzy were in boarding school, it was like... That's not uni, it's boarding school. No, but it was like, I'm just putting the example of being in a room. We were in four. It was yeah. four of us in that to, one room. And it was just like... You just, you know, you yeah. don't have to talk to them. Just be civil and... 
no, I guess, but my, you know, my eldest brother, um, <laughs> his first college roommate ended up getting kicked out of school for trying to build a bomb in his room. A bomb? That's America, man. <laughs> <laughs> you see what Something I'm saying? Only so, happens in America. So at the same She's time, what I, I'm, I'm, that's an extreme, but that. at the same time, though, what I'm trying to say is like, um, you're, you're moving in with somebody brand new, you have somebody with completely different habits than yours, mm -hmm. different types of schedules, you know, you're sharing a bathroom, you're sharing your personal space, you know, you come home and there's a bite taken out of your, your um, yeah. Or some of your cookies missing out of the package. That's like basically you know? how you live now. <laughs> Hasn't changed. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Pretty sure the viewers enjoyed all of that. <laughs> but um, no, I feel like when we're talking about university, we're being like very depressing about it. <laughs> I feel like we should say like what we particularly enjoyed about it. Yeah. I mean, to be um, honest. It, Everything has its bright sides, you know, and, and um, downfalls, you know. Yeah. But for the most part, it's a new experience, you know. If you're not willing to, to learn and expand yourself, then it's really no reason to go to uni in the first place. Yes. Do you feel like you learn a lot from university? Or do you think you I feel teaching yourself? Um, well, my experience is in, in college, I ended up spending a lot of time home and just going through the work myself. Yeah. Just getting the work and just handing it in on time or as close to on time as possible. <laughs> um, but uh, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't find a classroom setting to be the best way for me to learn, mm -hmm. you know? Because when I go into the classroom, they're spending half the time just pointing at what, or reiterating what's already in the book, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, if I'm going to class, I want, you know, your perspective, you know, I don't want you to read out of a book for me, you know. Yeah, it depends on, like, the lecture that you have, is <laughs> No, it depends on the lecture that you have for sure, I think, because, like, some can be really, like, engaging, where other ones will literally, like, they just talk. Yeah, but most of them, like, I'm just talking anyways, and then tutorials are more helpful. No, I have, like, this really good, like, marketing lecture. I agree there. Tutorials? I like, tutorials are more lectures than I do tutorials, and I feel like it should be the other way around. So yeah. Have, it's just, I don't think um, lectures have the time, like, as much time for, like, tutorials are, like, way more intimate. Yeah, yeah. So you learn more, but, like... I have, like, a really good marketing lecture. Yeah. He was, like, so charismatic, and you guys had, like, really good uncle jokes, and I was, like... Like, his class is boring, That but kind of funny. speaks to him as a person, you know? Like, to be a teacher, you know? You just have to know the information and be able to, you know? Yeah. Just spill it out, you know? But, I mean, being a good teacher would be somebody who's engaging to their students, you know, and making it interesting and, you know, inviting for them, you know? Making learning fun. Mm, true. So, Ismail is the only one of us who has a master's. Wow. <laughs> well, well done. Yeah. <laughs> Distinction. Yeah. Well, what, what did you study? Uh, media studies. Um, oh. Diversity in the media. Oh, okay. what university? Westminster. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> well done. So, what made you, like, decide to carry on to a master's as opposed to just, like, stopping? I just wanted to progress myself. I thought I needed that was a time where I thought I could progress myself and I wanted to learn more about the media mm. and how the media works. What can you say you've actually learned? Like, the, what you've taken from your entire course? I can, what I can say I've learned is that I understand the media and the way it works and from a diversity perspective and how, how they include certain backgrounds and certain cultures and how the media have to give voice to other people, stuff like that. Mm. So that's kind of what I got from it. And mm. how like media like makes others think differently, make you think about you know different perceptions, change your opinions. Mm. You know, and it's not just you know, um, and the fact that it can be like you know one sided the media also. So you know the, those sort of things gave me better insight into how like the media works. Yeah. Okay, and after you've completed your masters. You know, knowing that what you went through to get it, yeah. do you think it was a plus? You know, like a big bonus, or was um, it as gratifying as you in hoped terms to be? of investment in myself? I feel it was a good thing for me, but I feel work experience for me is probably more essential than than you know being in school, and that's the, that's the downside to it, to be honest. 
Yeah. But I feel like in, in the long run, once once my experience is once I've you know developed that, um, the master you have both. Yeah, you have both. Yeah, yeah, that's that probably is one, always one of the most difficult things to overcome for yeah. uh, for a, a college student. You know, mm. whether you're still in college or just graduated. You know, most places want you to have experience because they yeah. want, even though you know the work or know what's kind of supposed to be done, yeah. they want to have proof that you can do it. You know. Yeah, but I'd say, I'd say definitely experience over your mind, over like education overall is probably more important in the long definitely, run. Definitely, definitely. Because so, you, know, you, know, you have to go out into the world, you have to you know, work with these business partners and you know, so adapt to that. Would you say getting your master's, maybe try and do it more part time and try to fit work in with that? I mean, that's going to be a lot more uh, difficult, is, but... I wanted to do an internship during my master's, but mm. I could never find the time. Mm. I see. I found it really hard to balance both. So, for me, I, I, you know, when you're in university, you think about, oh, I want to get a good grade, I want to, I want to do really well, and then you don't want to, you don't want to get a bad grade, or, so it's like... Right. For me, it's like I really wanted to focus on getting that great grade, you know, and then, it's, for me, it's just, I couldn't get that balance right. Okay. Well, yeah, that's hard trade-offs, you know. Yeah. It was the opposite. Like I always found time to like do everything but work. <laughs> Party. <laughs> well, somebody's got their priority straight. Wait, okay. <laughs> That's you all working for me. I like, make up your mind to go to campus-based university. Don't touch or, um, I, I mean, I studied in Hertfordshire. Like before my masters, I studied in Hertfordshire. Mm -hmm. uh, so but I didn't live out. I didn't live out. I, I lived at home. So I would travel there, commute by car. Mm. So, oh. yeah. Did you kind of wish you were on campus? Yeah, because it kind of affected my, my social life a little bit. Like, in terms of like, you know, going to university and then having to drive all the way back to your home. And then, because you can, it's like, you can't really get the joy out of being at university. How long was the drive? Like, like an hour. But yeah, I think people that go to university at the beginning, they should definitely go to live at the campuses instead of living at home. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, to be honest, I never lived on campus, ever. And I loved it that way. You loved it that way? Yeah. I mean, the, my first, when I first went to school, I didn't live far from campus, you know. I, it, I could walk to school in like seven minutes. So but then again, he wasn't, wasn't living with his parents either. Yeah. It yeah. was like living off campus with like his brothers, yeah, which, is, which is like a different type of brothers. fun. Yeah. But to be honest though, it was, <laughs> it was almost exactly like staying at home, just like my parents are away, you know? They've gone on vacation for a long period were of time. Were your brothers like kind of acting like your parents when you were living with them? My brothers were not acting like anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's Nothing the that I could recognize. Honestly, when I first went out there, like my eyes got so wide to, to like the new side of my brothers that I had never seen before. Because he was like the baby boy. <laughs> you know, because at home everybody's more, you know, straight and narrow because I mean my grandfather's a a bishop so you know it's, <laughs> when they got off of the island and went to the states away from home so far away from you know family went and repercussions crazy. and whatnot i mean it's not that we went crazy it was it was more along the lines that it just was a sense of freedom you know yeah. 